Hey everybody, Doby here with another Stratego game analysis. In this game, we'll learn how to read pieces uh, a little bit better, read your opponent's pieces, and we'll also see uh, a couple tactics I like to use in my game. One doesn't come up that often, and the other one comes up a lot, and what I do is very effective, and it will help you win a lot of games. So let's get started. I'm playing a Silver Lieutenant player, 500, basically a 500 level player. And he took up some time at the start, so I just moved it forward. So I'm glad I didn't lose. He goes first, and he's got two shots of winning. And I survived, yay. Sometimes, it's funny, sometimes people will walk up a scout, and if only they would have scouted down, they would have won the game, but they they try to walk up instead, and and uh, they wind up losing, so I'm happy I survived the first two moves. Now, I have a lot of scouts here, just to see what's coming down the pike, to guard the flag. Now, pieces behind the lake are usually pretty decent. Now, this was a scout, but usually you'll find colonels, generals, and marshals. I always try to target these four squares behind the lake on both sides. So this is probably going to be a good piece. Since this was a bad piece, this is probably going to be a good piece. So it's worthwhile scouting. And that's I think this is, this is a beginner mistake. There was really no reason for him to come with a marshal right away. Uh, but he wants to get this piece. Maybe he thinks it's it's valuable. He doesn't even know what it is yet, but now now he knows it's a captain. But I guess he wants to try to get ahead and then maybe play a swap game, and, and that's very hard to win against uh, very good players. You're going to lose. So I'm going to press one forward because I have to worry about scouts. So I have to go all the way up. Now, he wants to come drop my captain. Now, what do you think this piece is? Well, it's he's probably not bluffing. And so it's probably either going to be a colonel or a major. His, his marshal was here. So this is a good chance to be a colonel because the marshals tend to, uh, colonels tend to be next to the marshal uh, for protection. It's probably not a general because if you watched my previous video with the statistics, uh, the marshal and general are usually separated two thirds of the time. So since the marshal was on, the, if you divide the board down the middle, since the marshal was on the left hand side, the general is probably has a 67% chance to be on this side. So it's probably going to be either a colonel or a major, and I think it's probably going to be a colonel. But uh, what he probably should have done, if this was a bomb and he's coming for me, what he probably should have done is, is tried to use either a scout or a miner, if, if one of these pieces was a low piece, to try to bluff me instead of coming with the actual colonel or major. And then he could use that piece as a high piece for the rest of the game. He could either use it, let's say it was a sergeant, he could use that to either bait one of my scouts because I want to know how high it is, if it is a colonel or not. Or he could just use it to come deep in my territory. If I, if I think it's a colonel, then I might not attack it. And he could, he could come deep in and, and, uh, and attack my side to find, you know, to probe, to find my high pieces. So let's see what happens here. I have to move forward to guard the flag, and I'm happy it's a bomb, so now I can play a normal game, basically. So, see, this was a scout. He would have been better off rushing over with his scout, you know, one step at a time. And then that scout, I would I would assume that scout was either a colonel or a major. So now we got a lot of information at the start of this game. He, he Even though he's up a, current, um, uh, up a captain... We know this is a marshal. 
and this is a bomb. We know this is a marshal. We know this is a major, and we now we can deduce that it probably is a colonel. It wouldn't make sense if he, if this was a general to come over. He should have brought the major over. It would always you always want to reveal as little information as possible to your opponent. So if you can attack with a major instead of a colonel, attack with a major. Don't don't reveal your colonel. So let's keep on going. So now I got to just clear room for a counterattack with my general. It makes sense here for my general to move my general up. This is probably a colonel and this is a major. So if I can get my colonel up here to get one of these two, then I can take the lead since I'm I'm losing right now. So now that was really good. I got with the with the minor and I got a, a revealed his general. So now we know his marshal, his general, probably a colonel and a major. So we know all the information we really need to know to win. Uh, so now we just have to come up with a plan. And I don't like to rush up with the general right away because he still has plenty of scouts. He still has uh, five scouts left. And you, you want to come up here without him knowing make him think maybe it's a marshal coming up so he's hesitant because he might swap if i rush up right away he probably thinks it's not the marshal he thinks it's probably the general because i have to worry about the spy so sometimes you have to wait and bluff a little bit with low pieces just to see how your opponent reacts and then you want to avoid being scouted early on so now he's bringing his marshal back play defense and see that's the problem when you reveal your marshal when your marshal gets revealed early you're always running back to play defense and you can get bluffed the good players will bluff and bluff and bluff and then finally they won't bluff and it'll be too late and they'll be they'll be destroying your side capturing a lot of important pieces so that's the problem when you reveal a, a marshal early try not to do it So I'd like to bring this up to just lure, try to lure his marshal away, but I'm also trying to find out uh, a potential targets to hit with either my colonel, uh, marshal, or general. You don't have to run up right away and attack when you find their high pieces. It's all right. You need to find targets first. So you need to bring up your your lieutenants, your sergeants, your scouts, your miners to find pieces to hit. Now I'll bluff that this is my spy, and he's not going to take a, a scout. with. That would be crazy to take a scout, to risk taking a scout with a marshal. So now he thinks this is my spy, I guess, or it's a, a good bluff. <laughs> okay, so we got a miner. And another thing you can think about too, since since he had his um, marshal, colonel, and major on the, on the left hand side, the flag is probably over here. And again, the most popular spot is D10, so I would be targeting D10. So I lucked out there, got a minor, and then swap the lieutenant so that turned out pretty good getting two pieces for one that's always that's always good now, i don't know why i did that i think i just forgot where the major was <laughs> i wasn't sure if it was here or it was here sometimes when you play a lot of games in a row you you uh forget which game you're actually playing in your mind. So 
So now we're going to go up here and we're going to see if we can get that get that major and that's probably a kernel. So we have to push up on this side to put pressure. See now because his his marshal is revealed, he has to play defense back and forth back and forth. Now does he have guts to come and attack? See he he had to be hesitant to attack with his general because if this was my marshal he would have lost his general, but now he lost his major, so now he's behind. And since it's always a good idea, I'm very conservative when I play. And when I'm ahead, I like to swap, especially when you have a revealed piece. If your general is revealed, since my general is revealed, might as well swap. And again, so this turned out really good. I got two pieces for one. And we took the lead. So now I have to, he's coming with his, with his marshal to get my, uh, colonel. So now we're going to do one of the, one of the tricks, uh, I talked about in the beginning, a tactic. And it's the two square rule t trick. You fake that you're stuck with the two square rule. And then your opponent will take your piece and then you capture them with the spy. So now we're in sync together. I go down. He goes down. I go up. He goes up. I go down. And now I should have paused for, for a couple seconds here. We'll go back to it again. And this is like, this is like a, I guess you call it a two square rule bluff that you're trapped, but you're really not trapped. You're protected. I go up and I'm trying to sell that. I'm trying to sell that the spy isn't here. And normally after you do your three moves, you want to wait like two or three seconds to make pretend that you're stuck. And then you have to make another move. And then since this is my Colonel, since he's chasing my Colonel, Maybe he doesn't think the spy is over here. Maybe he thought the spy was somewhere over here. Or my general was here. So maybe he thought the spy was here. Uh, but if if my general was still on the board, and let's say he paused here and he was hesitant to take this because maybe he thought this was a spy, I would try to reveal my general. I would try to move up an attack to reveal my general, especially if it was way over here. And then you would you would basically be telling your opponent that the spy isn't really here. The spy is over here guarding my, uh, guarding my general. And then that would, and, and, uh, that would uh, make your opponent more likely to attack the Colonel. So I move out of the way and he, he decided to attack. And then I guess he gambled and, and this time he lost. So, so now he moves this piece, and and this happens a lot too now. When when the high piece gets taken off the board, usually your opponent, the mediocre, the beginners, will move their their highest piece on the board on their next move. And if I guess if you're just gonna lotto, I guess that's what you have to do. You if you're gonna lotto, you're you know you don't know how to come from behind uh, when you're losing. You don't know how to play from behind. Most of the beginners just lotto. So they're most likely going to move their highest piece on the board and charge on in before, hopefully before you can play defense. So, but you really don't want to do that. You want to try to use your scouts. He still had four scouts. You want to try to find other pieces that you can attack and try to find the marshal my high piece so you can avoid that and then plan to attack around that. So, uh, but now this is almost, almost a sure thing that it's a colonel. And so I just move up as a bluff and I didn't hesitate. When you don't hesitate, they respect it. Now I could have moved my marshal up here instead of my colonel, maybe to try to atta attack it. But I just don't like doing that. I like I like uh, 
Actually, I don't like moving my marshal at all. If I can play a whole game without moving my marshal, uh, that that to me is another uh, win within the game. I I because I find it so hard to beat players who don't reveal their marshal the the entire game. It's hard for me to beat them, so I I try to do that to my opponent. Uh, maybe that's uh, it's just like I bluff too much. Maybe I should move my marshal a little more often. But uh, in, in this case, I decided to come up with a colonel. If he wants to swap, that's fine. So he wants to see if this is my marshal. And I'm glad he's going to attack it to lose another scout. So he only has three scouts left, so that's good. So I'll just move up here to block any scouts. Yeah, this is a bomb, so we're protecting the flag. So now he's probably going to, in the next couple moves, move his other colonel. So you can expect that. So he's going to find out what this is. Now this captain's probably going to die. Uh, but I could bluff. Just leave him here and bluff that this is a, a marshal. I mean I could move him up and check this piece out too if I wanted to. But sometimes you can just sit here. Now this is, this is the next tactic I want to talk about. So that was his colonel. And this is the next tactic that I do often. I do it quite a lot, and it works almost every time. It's it's really amazing how it works. When when players are losing and they're coming in, and let's say they're in lotto mode, a lot of times they they come in real fast. And if if you have a bomb next to the piece, they attack, and you have a another piece on the other side. As soon as they attack this piece, you have to be ready right away move this piece away as fast as you can and your opponent will almost always especially the 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 the, the majority of players the beginners will almost always chase after this piece and they'll go right into the bomb it, it works all the time you'll see how fast i move my lieutenant he goes down and i move it right away boom and then they almost always chase into it. So if you do that, if you do that tactic right there, you will win so many games. I guarantee you, this this happens all the time. Uh, it's just, I guess, it's just a natural thing to do. People love to chase. They think this is an important piece. Maybe a mage. Maybe you thought this was a major or something. And it's like I'm opening up a space for it to get away, and they just want to attack it. And then also, when you have a bomb here behind the leg, this is fairly unusual. So this this is this is a, not a bad uh, piece to lotto because a lot of times it's not a bomb. And in this case, it was. So do that trick and you'll win a lot of games. And you'll notice in this game, he, he, he uh, decided to quit. He got too far behind. But you notice in this game... I did not move my marshal. We got a we got a marshal, a general, and both his colonels and a major. And I did not move my marshal the entire game. Stayed there the whole the whole time. So so you don't even have to move. You don't even need a marshal to win. So this game isn't that hard. You can play with a flag up top, and you don't have to move your marshal, and you still can beat a silver lieutenant. I right, hope these. Uh, Hope this uh, video helped you out for beginners out there and keep on playing. Hope you uh, improve and keep on uh, learning and then uh, eventually make it to platinum. So thanks for watching. Bye.